Yo, what's going on YouTube? Guard Upon Defense here, back with the build videos. This time I'm on the 2K21 demo. And this is one of the best point guard builds I think I've found so far. I'm going to be doing some more looking through all of them, but... This build is the BP build from last year, just with a little bit of extra slashing. So, for the physical profile, I would definitely go with speed. None of these other ones are really viable at all because the speed is just too low. So you want to go all speed here, and then... Finishing, max out the top three to get exactly 16, just like it was last year. And then drop the close shot by two to save those extra two points. The shooting, you want to max out the top three as well. And then lower the free throw, no, the free throw stays the same, so just max out the top three. The playmaking here, you got to max out the top two and then go for 15 playmaking. Now, if you also wanted, let's say you wanted 16 instead, you'd lose out on one defensive badge and a few attributes in defense. So that's why I wouldn't do it, but if you wanted to, it's, it's alright doing that too. On the defensive side of the ball, you want perimeter, lateral, steal, your defensive rebound, and then some block. Now, you have four extra points, but I tested it out. Putting it anywhere else doesn't really do anything. So I just decided to put it in block because it's already pretty low. Now body type, I always go with Burley just because it'll help with your defense a little bit. Now, the height, this is a little bit of your opinion, but let's say you want a little bit more extra driving dunk. You could go 6'5", but you do lose that ball handle, so 6'3 is probably the best just like last year. The weight, you definitely want to lower it down to 173 is the best. It's like the little sweet spot here. Wingspan, now this year wingspan really doesn't punish your ball handle that much. Yes, you're losing shooting, but at the same time, you're getting a lot of dunking and defense. Like, it's crazy. This build gets an 83 steal, and it's a non-lockdown. So, if there's plus 5 in the game, you're still going to get an 88 steal, which is pretty insane. So, personally, I would either go 1 below to get that ball handle to 82, or go max to get the extra dunking, but lose out a little bit of shooting. So, you're still going to be able to shoot with a 75. That's not really an issue. Now, the takeover... You can actually get locked down on this build, which is really interesting. But I think you probably want to go with slashing or playmaking, but I think slashing is better, so I would go with slashing. And the build is actually called the Slasher, which is pretty funny. Now let's continue here to the badges side. And this build, the one thing about it, it the game shows that you get Hall of Fame in your shooting, but you really don't. I don't know why they made the pie charts like that, but that's just how they are. See, as you can see, it shows shooting on Hall of Fame, but if you try to max it out, it only goes to gold. You can't do anything. But if I were to take these 16 points, I'd probably do something like this. Have some green machine, some dead eye, hot zone, some volume. If you don't, if you say, like, you don't really care about dead eye or volume, I'd put a little bit in the catch and shoot. Or maybe even, I don't know, tireless shooter might be decent this year. We don't really know. But these are like the best few badges you can use right now. Finishing. You want a consistent finisher and pro touch in there. Relentless. Probably a gold area. You want at least some form of acrobat. And fancy bronze is probably pretty good. I used to use fancy bronze last year because I wasn't really a hop stepper. So it worked just fine for me. Like you could even take the relentless over to pro touch too. Because pro touch just really helps when you get those slightlies. If you missed like those... Low covered layups last year. Hopefully Intimidator isn't too bad. Now for the playmaking. Gotta get your handles for days. Your quick first step. Pluckable silver. Probably want to get diamond help by your teammates. Maybe like this. Or if you don't really want needle thread. You can put that on tight handles instead. And defense. Uh, to make the most bang for your buck. Bronze, chase down, intimidator. Pick dodger, interceptor. Any of those four on bronze will really help you out. I'd personally like this though. Maybe even Intimidator. It's, it just depends on how overpowered screens are. But yeah, this is the Slasher Point Guard build. And I hope to drop some more builds for you soon. Thanks for watching the video. And be sure to subscribe and like if you want to see more content.